Okie dokie, uh, let us move on. It is the Hawthorne Hawks versus the Western Bulldogs down at UTAS in Tasmania. Now, Des, is this one straightforward or can we expect a little bit of uh, uh, spice? I don't think it's straightforward. I, th I feel like the outcome is straightforward. I feel like the outcome is straightforward. I can't go past the doggies here. This is like a perfect spot for the dogs to show everyone that they are the side. Re like literally the side. Like because you go down to Tassie, mm. you Hawthorne aren't in. Like Hawthorne are in. <laughs> they've they've won two games in a row. Yeah. Who could have told us that in round twelve? Like it's the Clarkson revenge you, farewell tour. You know what I mean? Like that. It's Clarkson's revenge. He, look, he's, yeah. he just like everyone else is playing yeah. for a job next year. Well, he, he, he is guaranteed one. But he just wants to show yeah. his wares. Yeah, I think so. But yeah. I just Why think, not? I just feel like, and I know Bruce out for the dogs kind of makes it a little bit hairy. And, and the Tassie factor is always, like, I've backed in Hawthorne literally, like, because of the Tassie factor mm. many times. But oh, the dogs are just, I, I see this too often. And it's like, mm, is this this is this going to get hairy? But I think the dogs are just going to be too strong here. The dog is just going to be too strong, going to show their premiership contenders. And if they lose, then I don't... <laughs> Not season over, but like yeah. I don't know if they can do it. If they, if you can't go down and beat Hawthorne in Tassie, yep. you're not going to win a flag. I'm going to beat I, Melbourne. I, I, beat I, um, I agree with you. I think like fundamentally, this should be a, a pretty routine win for the Dogs. You would should think. be, yes, should be. Um, but to be honest, outside of beating the Crows and that win against Melbourne, I don't think the Dogs have actually been that impressive for some while. A lot of their wins have been against lower level teams by a handful of points here Ooh. and there. Like they haven't exactly been. Murderizing teams did enough to get by. They did, they have done enough to get by. You yeah. would want to hope with two games left in the regular season, come out and put the wood down. And you get what I'm saying. When state I say wood. It's state. I, I big wood. Yeah, yeah. Eastern. You definitely yeah. get what I'm saying. No, not eastern. Southern. Uh, uh, yeah. You get it. Yeah, exactly. Think about that one. Yeah, uh, they've got to come down and lay the lay the smack down. I reckon they I have to. I strongly agree. I I think that the Bruce. ACL is really going to be, this is now the crossroads of their season. And everyone's like, well, what's just one player? Like, it's not going to make the difference. And it's like, it yeah, for, but it's... It did for Brisbane with Hipwood, though. Like, and, he, and he's nowhere near the player that Bruce is, mm -hmm. in my opinion. You bang on. And and it's not just the fact that Bruce is their lead up forward and he's been having his best his best season today. What, second, I think, or third in the Coleman? Yep. Up, up to Up to that game. It's now the dominoes that start falling mm -hmm. now that Bruce isn't there. So, so, you, so you take Bruce out, okay. Who's your lead up forward? Mm -hmm. Do you say Tim English? So if you make it Tim English, you're now either relying on an underdone Steph Martin to come back in, mm -hmm. or you play some some weirdo who's scrubbing in the twos to just be your all of a sudden your number one ruckman. Bit rude to say about Sweetie, mate. I don't care. Bit he's rude. I, he's Bruce he's boy. he's see, his second choice. Trade for Kieran Strawn. Go on, you wouldn't. I heard a rumor. You'll get to see oh, Kieran wish. Strawn this yeah, weekend. You will, you will. Yeah, you will. my pants. <laughs> but, do you, but do you see what I'm saying? Do you then realistically back in someone like Jordan Sweet, who isn't an experienced ruckman? Do you want him to be, you know, the 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 big dog? Pardon the pun. Coming into finals time, he's going to be running that midfield unit. I don't know if you do. I mean, do you put Shacky in the forward line and take him I'd out of almost, the back line? I, that, I, I mean, like, that is actually would be painful. I was going to say I feel like he's the just, magnets, yeah. but I would actually put Sweetie forward. Like as a Roosters boy, you look. I feel like it wouldn't be a bad option. We're going to find out in the weekend. It's see, this, see, this is an option. This, this is the big problem with what the dogs have got with their list because their midfield. We discussed this on the weekend. Their midfield is so oh. stacked. It's stupidly stacked. Mm -hmm. There's too many midfielders. No bookends. Normally, what you would do if you were Say Geelong, Dangerfield will go forward and, and help cover. Well, what are you going to do with the midfielders? Oh, personally, I would actually put Bont up forward. That's what I would That's do. That's interesting. Uh, probably more Norton as your your lead up forward. Bont still you you got you got to play him through the middle, like yeah. seventy five twenty five split. I would have thought forward well, forward mid. I was kind of thinking Dunkley maybe. Just he's as... not he's not a lead up forward. And, no, I know. And, and he's no. actually not a real good kick for goal. Not that Bont is either, but at least he provides a marking target. Like you can't put Chalor up there. You're not going to put no. Baz Lanky. You're Correct. not going to put Lockie Hunter. Dale but, Williams. None of those. Libba. Yeah. You just no, not. It's not you, you won't. It has to be really Dunk or Bont. And I'd be leaning Bont. I'd like. Oh yeah. yeah or again, do you put hard, do you put Tim hard. English in the forward line and then try to replicate what Richmond did in 2017? Run with a smaller ruck, maybe someone like Keith, just to pinch hit. But then if you do that, that opens up yet another hole in an already porous back line so that, that is crying for a key, so, so, a key back. So we can guarantee that Caleb Daniel will be lead up forward this week. Because or, or yeah, like, that, yeah, that, switching that, off the ball. That, on that, right. that, that yeah. option yeah. makes the least sense, so it will be Bevo's go-to. It is, it is for that particular reason. And you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm that angry. I'm, I'm just that angry. You're not going to do this, surely. I'm doing this. I'm tipping the Hawks in a oh. foil over. Tip
tipping the Hawks oh. in a boil over. <laughs> Fellas, the dog of the week. it's at Utah's, okay? Yep, cool. The dogs have played five games there. They've only won one. Yeah. It, this, and, it's, and it's Clarko's. It's Clarko's farewell to it. And he's taking scalps. He's swinging dicks. He's taking scalps. I don't he's, like he's, that. He's gnawing at ankles. He's swinging he's dicks. Pecking <laughs> at eyes. Like that. That's fine. I'm telling you. I don't like the tip. I'm going to tip dogs one to thirty nine. I feel like the dogs are still going to have the class to get over with. But look, if there is a boil over, it, it, it's going to leave the dogs in a real perilous position come season. It's end. harder. Yeah, than they've the already made the top four. But you're going in losing to teams like Hawthorne. Mm. Mm. Could be Essendon. a real quick. Even remember where you heard it first. Yeah, you heard it here first. Ah, uh, you tipping dogs? I, I got the doggies. Yeah. Perfect. I think it'll be close, though. What are you looking at, bets-wise? Well, bets-wise, uh, I'm looking at Mitchell. I'm looking at McRae for 30-plus. I think that's pretty straightforward. I'm looking at Bont for 25-plus. I think that's pretty straightforward. Yep. I'm looking at Bailey Dale and Liam Shields for 20-plus disposals each. I think that's pretty straightforward, just considering their form going mm -hmm. in. And it wouldn't be a bet without a couple of, a couple of little goals, a little sausage rolls chucked in there as well. So I'm looking at the Bont and Dylan Moore for a goal apiece down at Utah's. The only one that gives me pause. Mm-hmm. Bailey Dale was a forward mm. before he moved to defence this year. Mm. Could he see the magnet switched? He's shorter than you. I don't see that. I don't think he is. No. I think that's hard to What, play. shorter than you or yeah. not moving up forward? Well, no. definitely shorter than me. <laughs> Des, why are you angry? Who's angry in this game and why? Hawks are angry. Why? Oh, why are the Hawks angry? Well, I might jump straight on the doggies. Doggies are angry for, for three letters. Mm. ACL. Tr also true. Angry that ACLs exist. Mm -hmm. That's why they're angry. I thought the Hawks. Are, I would have thought the Hawks would be pissed because Clarko all of a sudden is, is yeah. doing great. <laughs> Coach, well, just say, yeah. <laughs> just say, you can, no, just, you can going, imagine what he's been doing, standing on the side of call training. Call he's been, been standing on the side of training all year, just no instructions. Just yeah, yeah, yeah go on. <laughs> yeah, kick. Yeah, all right. Training's finished, boys, and that's it. Done for the day. Now he's now he's back out there coaching, and they're like, "What is this? Where's this been for the last two years?" 